In recent days, Israeli airstrikes across Lebanon have led to a tragic escalation of violence, claiming at least 21 lives. The southern towns of Kana and Nabatia bear the brunt of this destruction, as reports of flattened buildings and devastated communities emerge, bringing harrowing memories of past conflicts back to the forefront. In Kana, 15 individuals lost their lives in relentless strikes, and the remnants of homes are a stark testament to the brutality of war. Children's toys lie amidst the rubble, and the cries of grieving families echo through the streets. It's a haunting reflection of a town that has faced devastation before, now once again caught in the crossfire. Tabatia also faced catastrophic loss when a strike interrupted a relief coordination meeting, resulting in the deaths of the mayor and five others. The chaos of that moment, as leaders gathered to provide aid, morphed into tragedy underscoring the indiscriminate nature of warfare that blurs the lines between combatants and civilians. In response to the escalating tensions, the Israeli military emphasized its targeting of Hezbollah command centers believed to be embedded within civilian populations. This justification raises significant ethical questions in warfare and adds layers of complexity to an already volatile situation. The debate on the legality and morality of such tactics is far from settled. Following a six-day lull, Israeli bombardment has also resumed in the southern suburbs of Beirut, focused on what they claim to be an arms depot. The military's warning for civilians to evacuate becomes an unsettling reminder of the precariousness of life in conflict zones, as families are forced to flee from the homes they have built against the backdrop of war. As Hezbollah rockets continue to rain down into Israel, the retaliatory responses from Israel exacerbate the cycle of violence. The solidarity of Hezbollah with Hamas, initiated back in October, has sparked intense military responses, igniting fear and uncertainty for millions of civilians caught in the perilous crossfire. Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Makati condemned the attacks, framing them as a deliberate targeting of innocent lives. Concurrently, the United Nations has voiced alarm regarding the rising civilian casualties, a grim statistic amidst ongoing diplomatic efforts that have failed to deliver a ceasefire. The human cost of this ongoing conflict is staggering. Over 2,300 lives lost and more than a million displaced in Lebanon. As the echoes of violence reverberate through cities and towns, the hope for a peaceful resolution and a return to normalcy seems increasingly distant, with the world watching, yet helpless to intervene.